Hi guys, Nick here with uh, with Fully Operational, uh, taking a look at the Rebel Fighter Squadron expansion pack for uh, for the Star Wars Armada game. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a look inside, see what uh, see what comes in the pack, and uh, go through the different cards and uh, and, and options that uh, that this brings to the to the Star Wars Armada game. Now we've uh, we've also done a video of the Imperial Fighter Squadron pack, uh, so if, if you Imperial players, if you want to take a look at that, or Rebel players who want to see what they're up against, you can uh, you can also have a look at um, at that video. Uh, we'll post the links below to uh, to have a look at that one. Now, just uh, having a look at the box itself, uh, quite a quite a nice amount of box art. What we'd expect from uh, from Fantasy Flight, showing the different fighters and things uh, that uh, that come in the pack. Oh, nothing on the bottom there. But uh, we'll uh, we'll crack this open and uh, and see what uh, see what comes inside. It, the packs are quite expensive. Uh, should, they're relatively expensive. I think it's good value for for the game. They are. Yeah. Uh, retail price is seventeen pounds. Um, but uh, first off, we've got all the different uh, tokens and and things inside the pack, uh, as well as all the cards you'll need to you'll need to use them. As you can see, I have opened this previously and popped everything out that I that I that I set up. Um, so I've had a, had a couple of games with the fighters already, uh, and they are they are fairly fairly effective in game. But we'll have a have a quick look at the models first off. So we've got uh, as as we pull these out, uh, to see what to see what we're looking at. Y wings, A wings, X wings, and B wings, right? You've got the whole alphabet, the whole alphabet of rebel fighters uh, coming in this pack. <laughs> um, so a close up of the of the B wings there. They're my favourite. Yeah, pers my, my personal favourite ships as well. They can't be um, all our favourite. Well, pff, I they're, the they're the best looking ships. <laughs> yeah. They're the best in game, but they're, they're really cool looking ships. Yeah, uh, so we've got well. yeah two two sets of two sets of B wings which we'll which we'll put down over there. Uh, the the Y wings next. Uh, two of those are our flying bathtubs, um, which uh, also uh, two packs two sets rather. And the the A wing, which is the uh, the rebels' answer to the to the interceptor. My least favourite of the ships. Is that right? Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly like the way they look. Although they look cool in these little minis. We'll pop them over there, and then what everyone should be familiar with, uh, another two X-wing squadrons. Yeah. Same as uh, exactly the same as what we found in the uh, in the core set. We'll put those down there. Great. So we'll uh, we'll get into the to the card pack and uh, and see see what we'll what we'll be flying with uh, to have a, have a bit of a closer look uh, at uh, at what we find. So uh, start off, we've got the X-wing squadron. Fairly standard, exactly the same as what you what we've seen in in the core set. So not not too much discussion needed there. Um, we'll pop that down there, and but we do have a, a special named pilot. Uh, previously we've seen Luke. Now we've got Wedge Antilles. Uh, Wedge has uh, the same stats as a regular X-wing. However, he's got one black dice on the squad. Oh, sorry, on the ship attacks compared to the red. He also has two two brace defense tokens with a special ability that means that while attacking an activated squadron, you may add two blue dice to your attack pool. Uh, an activated squadron. That's right. So a squadron that's already gone that turn, yeah, he's going to get a total of six blue dice to uh, to attack that squadron, which is which is quite that's the, the highest amount we've seen for a single attack. Yeah, that's fantastic. So far. Um, He's nineteen points. How does that fare on, on the rebel? Nineteen Rebels points. Though? I mean, it's one it's less than right? it is. It's one less than Luke. Um, two less than Vader. Two less than Vader. Next up, we've got the uh, the Y wings coming in at ten points. Now, these are the cheapest uh, of the of the rebel fighters. Uh, same speed as an X wing. Six hull points. That's huge. So they're they're, they're a very very strong ship uh, in terms of survivability. Um, however, not not too much on the damage side with with only two blue. Uh, two blue squadron attacks and one one black anti ship attack. They also have the bomber special ability, which we've seen on X wings, um, as well as heavy. Now heavy is, I suppose, a, a bit of a negative for the ship. It means that uh, they do not prevent engaged squadrons from attacking ships or from moving away. So yeah. um, it's a they're they're they're, they're definitely a, a niche a niche ship. Um, however, they are very cheap uh, in terms of rebel fighters. So I think I think we will see quite a lot of play out of the Y wings. Particularly for that uh, for that survivability of, of six health is, yeah. is quite substantial, uh, and this is the named pilot coming up now. It is for the uh, Y wing. Just find him in the deck here. Uh, for the Y wing, we've got Dutch Vander. Now uh, Dutch has the same stat line as a as a regular Y wing squadron. However, he does have one additional blue anti squadron die. 
He also also has the special rule for uh, for when a, when a squadron you attack suffers at least one damage, uh, you may toggle its activation slider to the activated side. If it was already activated, it suffers one additional damage instead. Um, what I think we're going to see is a lot of people running Dutch in uh, uh, along with with Wedge at the same time. So what you might uh, what might happen is you'll attack with Dutch. He'll do that one damage. Uh, which means that the fighter that you just attacked is now activated, uh, yep. m- uh, meaning that uh, that Wedge can use his special ability as well to get those extra extra squad. That's a bonus. nice combo, but it's an expensive combo. That's it, a thirty-five point combo. That's right. So that's 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 more than a third of the the maximum amount you're allowed to spend on fighters. Yeah. Here they are, A Wing, Chris, your favourite. Wait. <laughs> uh, these guys are fast, right? I mean, they're fast. Um, they have got pretty good hull points. I mean. Um, that's not so. It's better than a Tie Fighter, at least. Uh, three anti-squadron blue dice, one black anti-ship. But the really nice thing about them is they introduce the counter two ability. That's right. So it's this is the type of ship that you're going to fly directly into your enemy Tie swarm, and really just block them all up so that they can't they can't go anywhere. Uh, that counter two ability as well means that after a, a squadron performs a non-counter attack against you, you can attack the squadron. Uh, with an addition, with with an anti-squadron armament of two blue dice. So when you get attacked, you can attack straight back. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's the uh, same as the t- the tie interceptor as well. It is, yeah. And uh, coming in eleven points, uh, not not too expensive uh, for uh, for what you're getting there um, for the for those fighters. Yeah, no, these guys are great. Very good. Yep. The uh, we'll pull out the the named fighter for the uh, the named pilot rather for the A wing squadron. We've got uh, we've got Tycho Kelchu. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, I'm I'm not too Kelchu. sure on, on how that's pronounced, but um, he has the the exact same stat line as a regular uh, regular A wing squadron mm. with the special ability of uh, you are not prevented from moving or attacking ships uh, while you are engaged. Essentially, what that means is this guy can't get bogged down. So by he can go around. Fighters. He can t- pick his own target. In That's that, right. In that mix, mist of tie tie fighters and tie advance, he he yep. can go around and pick his targets he, as he wants. He does what he wants. Um, there's the, you're not going to stop him from moving out of out of combat. He's not going to be caught up in engagement he doesn't want to be in. Yeah. At speed five as well, when he when he wants to move somewhere, he can get. He there can pretty, be where he needs to be. Get Six, there Sixteen quickly. points. It's quite quite expensive for for that ability, but I think. Um, He's the guy. He's the strategic guy that you'll move around as you need him to, to be right. where he needs to be. Adding that counter two to the mix. Yeah, and with the with the scatter and the brace as well, it means that he's he's going to be able to take quite a lot of damage before yeah. he goes down. Absolutely, that's great. So, the so last and not least, we have the B wing squadron. Yep. Um, <laughs> now the the B wing, you uh, what uh, what you're going to see is that it's going to be the the dedicated uh, bomber yep. for the for the Rebel Alliance. Now it is a very slow ship. It only has speed two. Wow! Um, so it's not going anywhere in a hurry. Five hull points make it make it fairly fairly survivable. Um, three anti squadron is fairly decent for for something that's uh, that's going to be primarily. I mean, it's, it's a well armed ship. It's it, got it, laser it, cannons. It's got everything. That's correct. Yeah, um, and then it is does have a, a blue die and a black die for its anti ship armament. So this is the first time we've seen more than one die yeah. on a on a on an anti ship. As an imperial player, I would not let that anywhere near any of my ships. That's that's where I'd send my interceptors. That's where I'd send the you know the the a, a tight swarm to to just take those guys out and deal with them before they were able to get close. That's right. And and with only having speed 2, if you if you hold that up for a couple of turns, yeah. then I mean, chances are it might not even get in range of your of your enemy. Yeah, to, I do not want that to, anywhere to near my to make anywhere near my ships. To be honest, uh, a good use of interceptors. Definitely. Um, now, our named pilot for the uh, for the B wings is uh, is Kian Farlander. Same stats uh, across the board as a regular as a regular B uh, B wing squadron. However, he does have instead of a blue and a black on yep. anti ships. He's got two black dice, which is very effective. And remember the bomber ability. Particularly with yeah, the bomber yeah, yeah. ability. Now this guy's special uh, this guy's special rule uh, states that while attacking ships, if the defending hull zone has no shields, you may re roll any number of dice in your attack pool. So Oof. he's got those he's got those two black dice. Now two of the two of the faces on the black dice are blank. If either of those come up and you're attacking someone with no shields, 
then go ahead and go for a reroll. That could be four damage. That's right. Plus a critical effect. And he's got so it could he's be got, five. He's got the bomber. He's got the bomber ability as well, yeah. which means that his crits do damage against ships. Yeah. So, and and on on black die attacks, the the crit icon always has a hit icon with it as well. So you're instantly doing two damage. One of them being a crit. That's interesting. That's I mean that's that you're taking a gamble if you're running a B wing squadron and you're running um, K N as well. You're taking a gamble because you need to you need to defend them. I reckon as well. You can't just I don't think you could just leave them on 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 the, on the star map by themselves. Mm. They'd be hunted down by. Yeah, him. he is expensive. Twenty points. He is very slow as well. But if you get him in there, he's going to do a lot of. Damage. You're laughing. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a great that's a great pack for the rebels. Also offers a lot of variety, uh, a lot of options. The Y wings. I really like those. You played those the other the other day against me. Um, the B wings, I think they're definitely the. Yeah, I'm. I'm really uh, the 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 slowness of the B wings is really putting me off. Yeah. Um, a wings though, uh, very effective because of their speed. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I think the the real workhorse that we're going to see from the from the from the rebel pack is going to be the X wings. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks, Nick, for for taking us through those cards. Um, you can find out more. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you're following us on social media. You can see the links now on the screen. Um, and we'll be back very shortly with some more um, Star Wars Armada mission briefings for you.